The Orlando Magic currently have a young roster full of ascending raw talented players and while the Magic did struggle immensely last season due to a lack of experience but also a lot of injuries that plagued the Orlando Magic last season, the Magic look like a franchise and a team that's ready to take that next step at all the offseason additions that they acquired but also it looks like the key impact players that the Magic are going to be getting back this season are ready to take that next step and I'm here to talk about three reasons why the Orlando Magic can make this year's NBA playoffs. Now, I would like to preface my comments by saying yes I'm obviously a little bit biased in this video but let's hear me out and let's actually talk about why this Orlando Magic team can make the playoffs and the first reason is going to come with the young depth and two specific impact players that I'm going to be talking about with both Jonathan Isaac and number one overall pick Paolo Bancaro. Now when it comes to Jonathan Isaac he's one of the most versatile and skilled wing defenders in the game this guy can guard one through five he was a 2017 first round pick out of florida state and jonathan isaac has had injuries plague him throughout his entire young career jonathan isaac has never truly had much of an offensive game when you look at the talent that's been around him through the days with nikola vucevic and evan fournier he was really much more of a system player offensively speaking but when you saw him back on the court prior to the bubble and jonathan isaac playing healthy he looked like an absolute defensive player of the year candidate and jonathan isaac was proving to be a vital part of the Orlando Magic success and this young core moving forward. And Jonathan Isaac, who got injured in the bubble, has not played a single second of NBA basketball since the bubble, and he's been rehabbing ever since. And Jonathan Isaac is expected to make his return when the Orlando Magic tip off for the new season this year. And then when you also talk about number one overall pick, Paolo Bancaro, who was widely regarded as easily the best player in this year's draft out of Duke, Bancaro is going to come in and make an instant impact on this team you saw throughout the summer league and you take it with a grain of salt because the summer league is just these guys getting their feet wet and really getting these shots up and kind of getting adjusted the NBA game but Ben Carroll I believe is absolutely going to be a candidate for rookie of the year this year and I do believe he's going to have an instant impact on this team but when you look at the overall depth across the Orlando Magic this is what my starting five would be for tip off as well as the depth players on the bench when you look at their starting five you would have Markel Fultz at the one Jalen Suggs at the number two then you would talk about Franz and Bancaro in the front court as well as Wendell Carter Jr. who's poised for a breakout season then you look over on the bench for the Magic you talk about guys like Cole Anthony Terrence Ross Chuma Kiki Mo Bamba Jonathan Isaac RJ Caleb Houston our second round pick RJ Hampton Mo Wagner and Bo Bo the Magic won't be having Gary Harris what it looks like to be for the season after he got injured this offseason so prayers up to you Gary Harris plus when you look at head coach Jamal Mosley who's going into his second season with the Orlando Magic as head coach Jamal Mosley proves to be a great leader and a great vocalist in the locker room and I think Jamal Mosley's poised to have a great second year step up as head coach for the Orlando Magic the second reason the Orlando Magic can make the playoffs is because of the defense when you look at the length and versatility that the Magic have this is absolutely gonna benefit the Magic and it's gonna be absolutely difficult for opposing offenses to score on this defense although the Magic do lack some size in the backcourt when you talk about guys like Cole Anthony Jalen Suggs Markel Fulton RJ Hampton and even Caleb Houston maybe a little bit the Magic don't maybe have the best necessarily wing defenders on roster but when you look at their front court and you talk about guys like Jonathan Isaac who is easily going to be a defensive player of the year candidate if he can remain healthy and he can guard one through five you look at the Magic retaining Mo Bamba that was huge for the Magic in order to keep this defensive present and then even Wendell Carter Jr. the Magic are plus five in offensive rating with him on the floor versus him off the floor and like I said Wendell is poised for a breakout season you talk about Franz Vaughn who's a versatile guy and he can switch one through five as well too even though he's a lot better offensively speaking the Magic have a lot of great pieces defensively and I believe that the Magic can be stout defensively they're going to be aggressive especially with a lot of these young guys on the perimeter I believe that the Magic can actually have a top 10 defense in all of basketball this upcoming season I don't think that should be that far of a stretch and the last reason the Orlando Magic can make the postseason is because this is a wide open Eastern Conference with the breaking news of Ime Udoka which I won't even address coming out as of lately we don't know what the Boston Celtics are going to be even though they're still going to be widely regarded as one of the title contenders in the Eastern Conference I don't expect much slippage from the Boston Celtics you still look at the top dogs in the East you still look at teams like possibly the Philadelphia 76ers obviously the Milwaukee Bucks you're going to talk about teams like the Miami Heat but then you also still get to these middle of the pack tier teams like the Toronto Raptors and like the Cleveland Cavaliers like the Atlanta Hawks and the list goes on 
The Magic absolutely have an opportunity to make the play in tournament with this young core and this foundation of players. And while the East was absolutely loaded last year, I don't expect too much outside of the top dogs in the Eastern Conference, which I would really say are maybe the Milwaukee Bucks, the Boston Celtics, and possibly the Miami Heat. We'll have to see how everything transpires. But other than that, I feel like the Eastern Conference is relatively wide open and up for grabs. There's going to be a lot of new changes and a lot of new faces in the Eastern Conference this year. And I absolutely believe that the Magic can get into the play-in tournament, win a few games, and make the postseason. This team is young. This team is hungry. This team has a lot of great young, talented players. And you look at them defensively and what they can present. I think that the Magic are going to be a team to be reckoned with in the Eastern Conference. I'm not saying that this team is going to be a top five seed in the East. I'm not even sure if they're going to be a top seven seed or eight seed but this team can make the play-in tournament and they can absolutely make the postseason. That's just my personal thoughts on it. But Magic fans and NBA fans, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you guys think that the Magic can make the playoffs? And if so, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, man, I really appreciate it. If you guys could, drop me a thumbs up. It takes one second and it helps me in the channel out tremendously. And if you guys are new here, consider hitting that subscribe bell to stay tuned for more NBA, UCF, and of course, Jaguars content that I do here on YouTube. And make sure y'all go follow me on my socials, especially on Twitter. I'm really active and I'm on there every single day trying to grow that following. The link tree will be in the description down below for y'all to go follow me. But thanks again for sticking around throughout the whole video. Brett James, aka BJ, I'm out y'all. Go Magic, baby. Peace!